Question number six was designed to be one of the more difficult questions um, for this exam. So I'm going to work it out um, for you guys, and we'll start off by reading the question. There's a car and a police cruiser that we have to worry about. So it says here we have a police cruiser that is traveling at 20 meters per second. So I'm just going to write down all of our known variables. So we have a police cruiser traveling at 20 meters per second. A car traveling in the same direction at 30 meters per second passes the cruiser. So they're going in the same direction. We'll just say they're going to the right so that we can use all positive numbers. So this is your car and this is your police cruiser who's cruising at 20 meters per second and your car flies by at 30 meters per second. It says, at this moment the car begins to accelerate in the forward direction at a rate of 2 meters per second squared. So, acceleration equals 2 meters per second squared. And the cruiser begins to accelerate in the forward direction at 4 meters per second squared. So it says, how far does the cruiser travel until it catches up to the car? So we're looking for the distances where the car is able to be pulled over by the police car. <coughs> so, in order to do this, we go back to our distance equation that says distance equals initial distance plus V initial T plus one half acceleration times time squared. So we're going to have to do this twice. We're going to have to do this once for the car, and once for the police officer. So we'll start out doing it with the car. So the car, we're looking for x. The initial term ends up dropping out because we just assume that they started on a regular um, surface of zero meters. And the car was going 30 meters per second, so plus 30 meters per second times the time, which we said, we don't know the time, so we're just going to leave that in there as the variable, and plus one half acceleration, the car accelerates to 2 meters per second squared. And we still don't know the time. Now for the police officer, x equals the same thing, 0 meters, but he's only going 20 meters per second. t, we don't know, plus 1 half. The cop accelerates at 4 meters per second squared for an unknown time of t squared. So, for this, we can actually solve for the time. And we can go ahead and rearrange both of these equations and say that, okay, 1 half times 4 is 2, so we have 2t squared on this side plus 20t. So this is for the police officer. So remember, this was for the car and this was for the police officer. So I'm going to go over here and write it. So we have 20t plus 2t squared for the police officer. And as we can see over there for the car, we have 1 half times 2 meters per second squared. So it's just going to be 1 meter or t squared plus 30t. So we can go ahead and set those equal to each other. t squared plus 30t. And when we do this, let's go ahead and factor a 2t out of this side of the equation. So it ends up being t plus 20. And we're going to factor t out of this side of the equation. So it's t plus 30. And we can cross the t's out that we just factored out. So now it's 2 times t plus 20 is equal to t plus 30. 
So if we go ahead and multiply back through, 2t plus 20 equals t plus 30. Subtract this t here, subtract 20 here. So t ends up equaling a time of 10 seconds. Now that we have our time, we can go ahead and plug time into either of these equations to get the distance. And I'll go ahead and do both just for the sake of um, being complete. So we could do for the car, 30 times 10 plus 1 half 2 meters per second squared times, and we said we got 10 seconds, right? Squared. So this is 100, 200 divided by 2. It's 100 plus 300 for a total of 400 meters. And if we look at our answer choices, answer choice number 1 is 400 meters, and that is the correct answer. But if you want to check yourself, go ahead and plug in 10 seconds in for the police officer. So we have 20 meters per second times 10 seconds plus 1 half. Acceleration was 4 meters per second squared and time was 10 seconds. So 10 squared is 100, 400 divided by 2 is 200. 20 times 10 is 200. 200 plus 200 is 400 meters. So question number six, um, you can check your answer by doing it both ways. And the car and the police officer have to be at the same point because the police officer pulls the car over and they have to be next to each other when the cop goes to his window. So question number six is answer choice one, 400 meters.